Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in some different surroundings tonight. It is the awesome chat where we talk to people doing awesome things, startups, tech, <laughs> video games, all kinds of stuff in Pittsburgh and beyond. Of course, check out everything at awesomecast.net. Subscribe on Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and of course, video versions on iTunes and Facebook under Awesome Cast and everywhere else. Follow our Patreon for Awesome Cast and everything. I got, well, I don't know. I guess I'm more the guest today, aren't I? Here in the uh, Center for Media Innovation. I have Chelsea Pompiani with me right now. Mm-hmm. The in wait wait I'm you got, I know you got uh, it I, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it around you're the uh, innovation media specialist at the Center for Media Innovation I love how that works it's it's a very long title yes but I'm so happy to be here <laughs> so um, at my workplace this is a great new facility I got to check it out here yeah. a couple of months ago Tell us what you guys are doing. And this part of Point Park University, of course, here right downtown. Uh, like you can see, there's downtown. There's Wood Street right behind us. I love the vibe down here and everything. Uh, tell us, what is this place? Yeah, so it's really cool. So this is called the Center for Media Innovation. And mm-hmm. the grand opening was September 13th. So we're only a couple months old, but it's really great. So like you mentioned, we're right here on the corner of uh, 3rd and Wood Street. And we're part of Point Park University. And And uh, what we do is we're here in the video studio right now. So a lot of the students will have their shows here for UVU, which is the campus television station. Mm -hmm. Actually, on election night, all of the students were here until about 3 in the morning, and they went live all night. So that was pretty cool. We have a podcast and radio studio that we've brought in uh, WESA to do live broadcast. And we've worked with the Pittsburgh Podcast Network, which is really cool, too. And then we have a a photo lab and a classroom. And what's cool about those two is they're both their own separate spaces. But then if we have larger events in here, like we had Fred McLeod from the Cavaliers come in here, we actually can move the wall. So the wall between the classroom and then the photo lab can be moved, and it's all one big open space, which is really cool. So the term Media Innovation Center is really, truly what it is. It's very innovative, and we're trying to do um, more and more things in here. It is, because we were just having a podcast in Pittsburgh meeting, and I was like, mm-hmm. did you guys know there was a studio in the building that we've been there for like the last six or <laughs> seven years? And they're like, I had no idea. And then one time, Justin Labar, yeah. who I work with on, on a lot of things, uh, uh, took me down there where they do chair shot reality and I'm just like wait this is here you know like tucked right. in underneath like where we were presenting pod camp like this entire time but now you guys are very upfront you're very uh, uh, definitely seen from the street and everything <laughs> like that. Um, this is great to be like you're, you're really kind of announcing hey we're, we're, we're a media school right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's been really great, too. So we do have that other studio. It's in the University Center and the library. Um, but this one, like you said, is is right here, street level. When we have um, radio shows, which is in the um, the the room right next door, it's really great because it's open to the street, too. So we'll have people standing there and, and watching. And we can also put that stream on our monitors outside. And we have a news ticker that goes around that was bought by the Trib. So it's just a really, really great space, and a lot of people are noticing it. That's great. So talk a little bit about, you know, uh, it, it, it seems like anytime I, I, I come across somebody that works in news, in media, it, that is from Pittsburgh, uh, they seem to come from Point Park University. So yeah, like, it, it always <laughs> seems to track back to Point Park students. I think I went to the wrong school. Uh, so can you tell me a no, little bit about fine. that kind of history and what you guys do around media? Yeah, so Point Park is such a, a great school for broadcasting. I think when I went here, I graduated here in 2011, and it was number six in the country for, for broadcasting, which is really, really awesome. And I liked it because the classes are really small. So you do get that one-on-one attention, especially um, in the broadcast field where you know, things can tend to be a little bit all over the place, so it's nice to have that one-on-one attention from the teachers as well. And the other thing that's so great about this school and this center now is we are right in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh. All of the news organizations and outlets are in this area, so it's so easy for students to get from here to there and back, so it's really fantastic. That's awesome. 
Um, and, and when we talk about broadcasting, because, you know, you know, broadcasting 10 years ago was kind of like an old mm-hmm. thought, right? It's like, oh, I don't want to go on radio. I don't want to go on TV. But now it is so much more. I mean, we're, I mean, this is a podcast. There's internet. Can you right. talk a little bit about what you guys are doing the work in the new media kind of space? Yeah, so one of the things that that we've been um, focusing on here in the center is really getting high school students and freshmen who are in college at Point Park involved. And we want to let them know, you know, things really aren't the same in the broadcast world as it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. You're not just a reporter anymore. You're a reporter and you're a photographer and you're editing your own pieces and you have to update social media. And social media is huge now and that's really the the bulk of everything in broadcasting so it's more about the the online stuff and the in the video podcasts and the vlogs all of that's so popular so that's one of the things that we're encouraging more students to do and look into awesome and you mentioned um wsa has been here Mm -hmm. and of course we know that they're kind of looking at the podcast space as well right and um and pittsburgh podcast network can you talk a little bit about those partnerships and and what you guys are trying to do to, to, to bring those kinds of people in Right. So with podcasting over the last couple of months, really, here in the center, it's become really huge. So we started out with WESA. They've been doing live broadcasts in our podcast center, which is really great. The Pittsburgh Podcast Network has come in here a couple of times. And um, Jimmy Crenn was one of the the hosts. And then we had Tunjan Wolf come in. And actually, my sister and I have a podcast. So we we did one podcast. Pompin' Ain't Easy is the name of it. <laughs> Pompin' Ain't Easy, out. yeah. Uh, just, uh, so you guys can all, all subscribe to it of our po- podcast network. So. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Great name. Somebody on Twitter actually gave us that name. We just used it. That's great. That's <laughs> <It's good>. great. <laughs> um, but we had a broadcast actually outside uh, right over here. Um, in December and it was one of the coldest days of the year so that I mean it worked out because it everything went really well we had some of our student carolers outside and I know their vocal cords were frozen by the end of it but uh, it was really really it was fun and we're also working a lot with um, the news stations as well so one of the first things that we had in here when the center opened was uh, Bill Flanagan shot um, his show in here and that was, I think, the, the very first thing that we've done in here. That's the business show? Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So um, from there, uh, you know, you guys are into all this, like kind of what are you looking for 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 people that may want to get involved with 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 the center? Yeah. So one of the things that we're focusing on in the spring semester is we want to do a lot more workshops with these groups and these partnerships that we've maintained and then gained over the last couple of months. So we're hoping to do a, a huge social media workshop, and that would also include YouTube and podcasting as well. And we really want to bring outside entities into the center. Yes, this is a center that's for students, and that's extremely important, and that's our number one reason why we're here. But we also want to bring out, bring in outside entities, and we want them to use the space and feel comfortable using the space and use the space as their own. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anything coming? Well, anything coming up in the next year? You kind of looking forward to other than podcast? <laughs> Podcast's <laughs> going to be good. We are looking forward to that one. Um, we have a lot of cool uh, photojournalism people coming in. We have Stacy Kranitz, I believe, is coming in in February. And mm-hmm. she was just, um, I think 2015 was named the uh, Times most famous Instagrammer of the year. So all of our photo students are really looking forward to have her in there. We're also trying to get some bigger names in here for some of our social media mm-hmm. conferences as well. So it should be really good to see what we have over the next couple months. That's awesome. Well, if you, if you guys ever want to check the place out, uh, you guys are doing <laughs> tours, are you, or anything like that? Yeah, so, so we have about. yeah we have tours here. Um, you can go onto our website, which is the Center for Media And on that website, you'll be able to find my contact information. So if anybody wants to schedule a tour they can contact the center or myself and I can show you the the space and also we we do have um, forms that you have to go through to request the space as well and I can go over all of that and that's on our website too so that's awesome like I said I've, I've seen the space now twice uh, other than driving by randomly in the <laughs> evening, uh, which is always impressive. Uh, I've, I've, I've worked from uh, podcast basements to seeing uh, uh, the new studios all <laughs> around. And this is definitely, definitely really, really nice uh, uh, space to work in. 
and everything. So I, I definitely recommend it. And, and, and the people that I end up working with from, from Point Park University, the students here, are always like real professional, real top notch, and know they what the are. heck they're doing. They are. They're <laughs> which, great. Which is something I can't say about other schools mm -hmm. that I've had interns from. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, no, I, I definitely, I have the highest regard of the school. Um, I wish I could do over my college years here. Uh, so I know. Myself, I wish this so. was here when I was in college. This was a hot dog place when I was here. It so. was a hot dog. That's exactly how I described uh -huh. it. I'm like, uh, it was like a hot oh, dog where, did they, where did they put that? It's like, you know where the Nathan's hot dogs used to be? <laughs> right there. It's, yeah, and it doesn't smell like hot dogs in here. I want to get that straight. <laughs> it too. doesn't. Just in case you have any preconceptions, that is gone. I don't know if they found a case in the back when they're cleaning it out. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, with something like that. But no, check it out. Check out everything online. Uh, uh, Point Park University. Um, definitely a, a great place. And, and, and say there's ways that people get involved if you're not going to school here, you know? So yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Awesome Thank you for chat. having me. This was great. So uh, check out everything again. Awesomecast.net for the Awesome Chat and the Awesome Cast shows. We do the weekly show, of course, at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time at live.awesomecast.net or whatever technology we're using up there <laughs> lately is Facebook Live has been our thing. Are you guys doing Facebook Live here stuff? We've done a little bit with Facebook yeah. Live. We actually bought uh, new equipment that will allow us to do that nice. even more. So we're looking That's forward to that. Place to yeah. be. Seems place where to be for this <laughs> stuff. So uh, go check that out and check out all kinds of interviews we've been doing over the, the last, uh, we think we're creeping up on two years of doing these uh, straight wow. awesome chat interviews. Starting with your jag off. So, <laughs> that's how you start any podcast with some jag off, right? So thank you so much. And uh, um, thank you to my awesome guest. You've been our awesome co audience in this awesome studio. Have an awesome week. Hang on this week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.